grand rising grand rising and as much as I don't want to say it's a happy Wednesday I'm gonna say it anyway because I, I, I have to make it a happy Wednesday despite how I'm actually feeling today you know um, this situation with George Floyd um, the situation that occurred I think in New York and a couple other situations hell there's so many of them that is beginning to become like a default uh, situation in our in our society in fact I'm saying beginning it's always been a default situation in our society where people who have skin color uh, that has been categorized as quote-unquote black um, have been mistreated in this America and you know I'm not one that's big in politics although I do keep up with it but you know I, I haven't really been expressing my thoughts about politics because just kind of it's really not just not my focus right now however i will say this you know first i listened to the breakfast club and joe biden the the democratic candidate basically stated that if you ain't black uh you if you don't vote for him you ain't black now my problem with that quote right and i'm I pretty much i think that's almost word for word what he said my problem with that quote is that that means that he gets to define, quote unquote, what black is. But that's also part and parcel what I've been saying has been the problem. When other people think that they can define who you are, right, they can control you. And implicit in that, a lot of times, is a lack of respect. Because if I can define you to the point that you have no definition for yourself, I don't respect you. And it's time for us to, to start to first respect ourselves. And as much as we may want to back the Democratic Party, and I'm not saying vote Democrat or not vote Democrat, right? But right now, with regards to Biden, he should not, he should not have a comfort level of thinking he has your vote, right? He needs to bring specific things to the table. And one of the things that he could bring to the table is let's modify the policies and protocols with regards to police power the exercise of police power. When it comes to a non-violent crime, whether you're making arrests or doing an investigation, the police should respond with non-violent actions, right? Arresting somebody, I believe with George Floyd, it was for, uh, uh, it was an investigation of forgery, right? The man hadn't even been convicted of forgery, right? Right? What happened to the innocent until proven guilty? Right? Well, that innocent until proven guilty, that behavior, that that precept, that 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 rule, that rule needs to be applied before somebody is convicted. And the problem is we've keep we've been allowing the system to not go by its own rules. The rule says innocent until proven guilty. Therefore, Mr. Floyd, regardless of what you think he may have done, should have been treated with respect with dignity as a human being in this world should. But that's not what we're getting because why the system, the system doesn't obligate the treatment of all people as humans. The system needs to follow its own rules. See, the problem is sometimes these rules sound so good, innocent until proven guilty. When, when, they, go, when they go low, we go high. Those are just all flowerly, flowerly uh, uh, sayings that, right, that sound good, right? That seems to put us on some moral pedestal, but then get our face punched in or, or get our, our, the wind taken out of us by a knee. <laughs> we got to stop this, y'all. We have to stop this. And one of the things that Biden needs to bring to the table that needs to be added to his black agenda is... He needs to implement and show that he's going to implement on the federal level and, and push even down to the local level a change in the exercise of police power. And there should be certain protocols put in place for police officers in making arrests. And they do not have unfettered, unchecked power to just do what they want to do when making arrests. Because again... You, the, the system says you're innocent until proven guilty. And it's time for the people to hold the system accountable for its own words. And when you start to change the system, 
right? Then the system will have impact on the people and the people will start to change. But it's time for us to stop thinking that a system that doesn't support us is gonna rescue us. It wasn't designed that way. And when you start to do your own research and you start to break it down and you just take a moment and you just think, think outside the way someone taught you to think, right? And I know sometimes it can be insulting if somebody says you haven't been thinking, right? And I get it, I understand it. When I came to that realization, it wasn't easy for me, but I had to realize that I was thinking in a way that somebody else had trained me to think. The problem is it just kept putting me in a position of being in complaint mode and complaint mode and complaint mode. But it's time for that to stop. So anyway, I could rant on this all day, but I'm not. I'm out here, I'm finishing up my workout with a nice little walk. I do want everybody to have a happy, happy Wednesday. And um, my condolences to the family of, jo of George Floyd and, and all families that uh, have been affected in any kind of tragic way. Um, I definitely um, send my condolences. So happy Wednesday. Ashe free thinkers, Ashe, may what you say manifest in your life today and every day. Ashe.